been up all night weighing up my career against helping you out. No, Kate, that's you not bastard, what I'm... You bastard, sir. So you're going to take all of us down with you? Are you, sir? Sorry, what was that about something going down the drain? Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. That'd be your investigation. Our focus shifts completely to the double murder on Greek Lane and the killing of Wesley Duke. Tony, you know D.I. Buckles has taken over the lab at disappearance? Yeah. We're developing her money laundering as a lead. If Gates had solved the triple murder, he could have shaken off these allegations. Now, he's a dead man walking. Then why keep digging? He's here. Do you want her body being found with your dirty business all over her? Right, uh, Aidan, Calvin, I want you to focus on Jackie's links to organised crime. Tina, Richie, we need to expand the search for the body, yeah? Whoever we can connect to that body is our prime suspect. Yeah, I buckles the word, please. Now. Richie, you lot were crap at the weekend. <laughs> you need a new centre half, mate. <laughs> How's the um, money laundering investigation coming? Still early days, sir. What do you know about financial irregularities? You know. Well, it's a very specialised area, you know. Nervous about something, sir. AC12 have been trying to stick me for weeks, son. If you think you can do better, be my guest. You go after a fellow officer, you'll see how those lot feel about you. My advice is to dump it on Ford Squad. Yeah? money laundering part of the investigation is being transferred to the fraud squad. I told you to shut it down. Yeah, yeah. I am being watched. I can't do that. Nobody could do that. I've done the next best thing. It's a complicated white collar crime and the offenders missing presumed dead. The CPS won't touch it with a barge pole. They better not, for your sake. I've held up my side. I want Jackie's body and the murder weapon disposed of now. Ah, uh, away. Hey. Hey! You could make it. Sir, I want to call him. Wind it down the operation. Sir, please. I had a word with Hilton. He said he was willing to sideline Gates so long as we backed off. But that was before we lost Steve. Well, sign another officer. I haven't got the manpower, Kate. I'm ten percent down already on my budget at counter terrorism. Why throw good money after bad? Listen, we've got him for what we wanted originally: professional conduct and general duties. Laddering. We don't have him for perverting the course of justice, for complicity in murder and manslaughter. Listen, his career is over. Job done, right? Spent months on this operation, sir. Oh, 
calling you in, Kit. No way, sir. I can nail him myself. Yeah? You wanted a statement from me about the text message from Jackie Laverty's phone to DCI Gates' phone. It's a dead end. Any other leads? I know what you're up to, Fleming. If DCI Gates wants any of this, you can put a request in writing via the Chief Super. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yeah. D.I. Buckles might be looking into Jackie's money laundering. I know. Well, I'm worried it might connect to you, sir. Well, it doesn't. Arnett was the problem. And now he's bottled it. I can get back to doing my job. Well, that's great, sir. Nige, Doc. Back to Greek Lane. Work to do. I take it this means I'm forgiven, Kate? Not quite, sir. I reckon you're still short by a box of milk tray. <laughs> Morning, sir. So the search team's completed operations. Fleming, Nige. What was the final forensic report on the chemical residues? Traces of hydrogen peroxide in the kitchen and areas consistent with household bleach. What about those Arabic books we found? I'll chase at the translator's boss. Thanks, Nige. Steady, Nige. So this is where you are. Poor boss has been in the mall for weeks. Three post-mortems. Wasn't your fault, Steve. I should have done more to challenge the Fahrenheit order. He'd still be alive. Fleming's still out there, you know. She's not giving up. Yeah, well, she can sit in judgment on Gates. Who am I to? Well, that's a matter for your own conscience, Steve. All I know is because of you, Kate's been left high and dry. married, sir? Just over ten years. And Jackie? Sorry. No. It's just not going to sound very good. Well, I'm not going to sit in judgment, sir, if that's what you mean. Oh, sir. Come on, Kate, we're off duty. It'd feel weird calling you Tony. Why? Because you don't look like a Tony. <laughs> Well, only my mum gets to call me Anthony. <laughs> Look, you're right, we don't have to talk about difficult stuff. 
No, it's all right. It's... I knew her from years back. I didn't realise. Yeah, I was a DC. She was the estate agent that showed me around my first flat. Are you kidding? And when I moved in, I made this joke that now she knows my address. And, um... Good afternoon, sir. How are you? A couple of nights later, she knocked on my door. And then six months down the line, I'm doing the whole thing. I bought a ring. I'm down on one knee in a restaurant like a mug. And... She pissed off with a millionaire. <laughs> I spent a couple of years feeling sorry for myself, and then I met my jewels. Mrs. Gates? Yeah. And then out of the blue, Jackie's back in town. Newly divorced. What happened? It was like before. It was like that night when I was alone in a bare flat and she came knocking. And now she's dead and it's probably because of me. Don't torture yourself. I wanted to apologize. I should never have used you to help flush out the rat in the squad. But I was backed into a corner. I was just pissed off at being manipulated, sir. If you need my help, just ask. As Buckles goes through Jackie's finances, there's going to be a link to you, isn't there? No, there's not. I could make it disappear. How? Get to it before Buckles. I was missing the glamour. And the operation's been missing a blunt instrument. <laughs> Gates has hinted there was a financial connection from Jackie to him. When I studied his personal finances, there was never anything. No exotic holidays, no house in the country. If she cut him in on the money laundry, God knows what he's spending it on. And the same as anyone. The thing he cares about most. She had no time to think about it when it was happening. But now she wondered if she hadn't just been worried about the expedition losing its leader. Holding him in her flippers, she found herself imagining what it would be like if Scott wasn't around. I'll get it! Okay. Nigel, come hey, in. What are you doing? Okay. I'm not interrupting anything. What? What, mate? Is there something wrong? No, I was just passing by. Wondered if he fancied coming down the arms for a swift pint. <laughs> I would love to, mate, but snowed under. Well, that's why I thought you could do with a night off. Any other night. You're in the middle of a shitstorm, Tone. Why have you stopped talking to me? Of course I haven't. You're my best mate. Am I? Friday night. You, Mel, me, Jules, we'll get a babysitter. We'll have a ball tea. Great. Yeah. I appreciate this, night. <laughs> right. Good night, Jules. Good night, Good night Natalie. Good night, Chloe. Good night. Good night, man. Yeah.
What are the fees here, if you don't mind me asking? £3,500. Per year? <laughs> per term. For new pupils, we also require a deposit of £1,000 per pupil to secure a place, with the first term paid in advance. And the gate has had no trouble meeting the cost? There was nothing improper. That's not what I asked. You'll understand our parents' financial records are confidential. I'll be back with the court order. I'll have to inform the head. You don't tell anyone. Okay? You were right. There's something. I push from the outside, you push from the inside. Welcome back, Steve. Yeah. Buckles isn't the problem. Oh, not on the case again. He was at your daughter's school. Sir. Sir. Stop, sir! This is what he wants you to do. I'm not having it, Kate! As soon as I heard he was back, I got worried. I had uniform drive past your house and your daughter's school. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No. No, I... It's my girls. When they, um, got into their school, I got slapped with a nine grand bill. I was trying to get a loan to cover it because they were in danger of losing their places. Jackie paid it without telling me. She said it was a gift. I should have said no. I should My old man never did anything for his kids, and I swore I was going to be different. Well, I'll keep tabs on Arna. Whatever he finds, you'll know about it. Thank you. Jackie Laverty paid the deposit and first term advance fees for Gates' daughters at Edge Park Prep. Gates opened up to you. How did you... You do your side. I'll do mine. Well, once we've gone through all the records, we'll have a financial trail leading from organised crime to Gates via Jackie. The same crew that killed Jackie Laverty carried out the Greek Lane murders. Could Gates be involved with them too? Well, we should target Cotton. He was pulled off surveillance the night of the murders. Well, isn't Cotton too tight with Gates to give him up? I overheard a row between Cotton and Morton about loyalty to Gates. Cotton was wavering. Morton made a digger dot about ticking boxes. Sounded like a sensitive subject. Right. Well, for appearances, we should bring in the whole squad. Make the interviews focus on laddering. Makes sense. Are you going to leave me in the lurch again? I had a wobble. No more wobbles? No more wobbles. Good. No comment, sir. Oh, come on. DCI Gates ladders offences, doesn't he, Morton? Hmm? I mean, that's how he's returned the best performance indicators in the last three years, right? No comment, sir. On the night that Wesley Duke was murdered, DCI Gates failed to report for duty. Where was he? No comment, sir. Oh, come on, you're his mate. 
Don't tell me you didn't try and contact him. No comment, sir. You just got yourself a triple murder. I mean, you can't seriously defend Gates' conduct, can you, DC Moore? No comment, sir. We built a very damning case against him, Morton. Then you won't need to turn me, sir. When the bomb goes off, there'll be a hell of a lot of collateral damage. I've been a DC for 20 years. I'll still be one when I retire. Ambitious blokes like you get buffeted by every little wind of change. Me? Just keep sailing on. End of your terminated. Go on. Piss off. Thank you, sir. Pissing off, sir. Welcome back, DS Arnett. We had a deal, Ted. No, we had a discussion, sir. I had the whole thing planned. Restructuring of tactical ops, TO-20 disbanded, gates sidelined. My email is sitting in the chief constable's inbox. The charge against Gates, sir, that we discussed is in respect of laddering. Now, I have got to substantiate that allegation with some pretty hard evidence. Otherwise, Gates is at liberty to sue us for constructive dismissal. I appear to have misunderstood. Well, if that is my fault, I apologize, sir. But I have to interview all of Gates' team to ascertain whether he was working alone. But yes, of course. And was he? Well, I'm not at liberty to say as yet, sir. I thought we were working together on this, Ted. Yes, well, we are, sir. We are. I think we'd both be gratified to know that Gates is a lone gunman, sir, and not the product of institutionalized malpractice. Sir. Fleming. Sir, I thought you should know. We've all just been called in by AC-12. Me, Dot and Nigel. What for? They're not saying, but they've pulled in copies of all recent cases, including the Greek Lane murders. Do you see Fleming? Sorry, sir. Fleming? Fleming! What's your understanding of the term laddering? I'll be guided by you, sir. Well, laddering is the amplification, indeed the multiplication of charges against the offender for the purposes of securing administrative detectives. In short, it's the buffing up of our figures to make it look like more crimes have been solved. Does this ring any bells? You've got a nerve, sir. DCI Gates is the best detective in this city. Why don't you do everyone a favour and go after some proper criminals? That your statement, Flynn? It is, sir. End of you terminated. Off you go. Yes, Cotton. Is it all right if I call you Matthew? Fine by me, sir. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you also go by Dot. Matthew it is. Appearances can be deceptive, Matthew, can't they? I mean, you look at DCI Gates, a very admirable individual. Devoted family man, officer of the year. I mean, you admire him, don't you, Matthew? I respect him, sir. I like the bloke a lot, yeah. And does he respect you? I mean, does he like you? 
Oh, I don't really go around thinking like that. <laughs> no, that's it. Emotional security. I look at you, that's what I say. Yeah, confident copper, someone who can handle himself. But like I said, you know, appearances can be deceptive. You're the last person I'd look at and think of mental health issue. Here you like the horses. Or you, used to. In 2009, you were given a final written warning for dereliction of duty. Why was that, Doc? It's all in the file. You can't go past the bookies without dropping in. All night is at the casino, up to your eyes in debt. Your missus walked out. You had a breakdown. Yeah, well, I was an addict. What is it the same once an addict, always an addict? No, not everyone says that. DCI Gates doesn't. He scraped you off the bottom of the barrel and put you on his squad. All that overtime you soon wiped off those debts. That's right, yeah. You know, there's one debt you'll never work off. To Gates. <sighs> and he knows it. And that's why he counted on you, Matthew. To abandon the surveillance operation in Greek Lane. Anything you say in here, Matthew, will be treated with the strictest confidence. D.S. Fraser says anything, it's his career, I can assure you. We only want the truth. You were supposed to be watching the heights. Instead of waiting for the next turn, you took an early swerve. Come on now, Matthew. Hmm? That's when the murders took place. But we got a call saying the next turn was on the way. We'd had notices about unnecessary overtime, so we decided to go. Oh, we decided, we decided. Who decided, Matthew? Huh? Did you decide, Matthew? A breach of police procedure that resulted in the untimely deaths of these two young men? What? What well, did Gates order you to go and know whatever happened, you'd stick by him? There's two yellow notices against your card already, son. One more strike and you're out. No job, no pension. You owe Gates for giving you a second chance. But you don't owe me future. The red notice is only at the start, son. I'll go for the criminal conviction. You know I will. You don't owe him a cover-up for a double murder. It was Tony. He was the one that gave the order. Interview terminated. Thank you, Matthew. We'll be in touch. Thank you. It all fits. The gang that committed the Greek lay murders was laundering money via Jackie. Money that was paying for Gates' daughter's education. He facilitated the hit to protect his income. I think we've got the bastard. I'll see you in a pub for a pint. Well, do yourself a favour, mate. Is for laddering. Coming after me, you mean? We're all in this together, mate. The laddering could be a smoke screen. You'd know, would you? There's something else they have on me. What? Doesn't matter. She knows about it. Nigel. Everyone knows she's been stuck for a complaint. But AC12 don't seem to give a toss. What's all that about? With all due modesty, they've got bigger fish to fry. Their case against you started with the free breakfast at the cafe. Who was the one wrote up the arrest report? Yeah, that's right. It was me. We all know the complaint came from the muggers. Oh, do we? Yes. Cut it out! Cut it out! Do you not see? Christ, they're into me for everything. The laddering, the breakfast, Jackie, fucking everything! 
Who are those bastards to come after you, boss? They forgot what the job used to be. All the crap you took at Hendon. Jesus, Nigel. What the hell did you tell them? Boss. Mate. What do you think? No comment to everything. Kate. I told him where to stick it. Doc. No comment. You know me, Tony. Right. Nigel, I'm sorry. It's just... I've got to think. It's late. Go on. Go home. Boss. All here. Please. Remember me? I'm here to search the premises. The lift stunk, blood. Yeah, have your farts, cuz. Nah, that's your mum. Every time I do her, she gives me a kebab. Who's that nuts about their waist, man? Sorry, Lauren. Popping in, do you, Terry? No. Home away from home, this is. Have you got a problem? I said, have you got a problem? <laughs> so as me, I couldn't remember where the pop was, in it. I'm only messing about. No. Look at the cards I give him. I'm sure I was supposed to get you. Hey, son. How are you? Hiya. Hey. Well, you sounded on the phone. I didn't know what state to expect you in. This trouble at work, Jules. It's pretty serious. How serious? There was a woman, Jackie, and she offered to help with the girls' schooling. What? What woman? She's just somebody I met at work. She's a businesswoman. Why would you want to do that? She. Is there something going on between you? No. Tony. Hey, I would never do that. You know that. She just let on that she could pull strings to get the girls into their school. Well, that all worked out fine. She paid the first set of fees. Listen. What? No, listen. The girls would have lost their places and I couldn't have that. We didn't have the money, so she offered. I still don't get why would she want to do that. To get me in her pocket. Is this why that anti-corruption officer was around here? Yeah. Well, you said you could fix it. I've tried. No. Oh. There's got to be something. Quick. 
quickly, everyone, gather round. The Chief Constable has ordered me to take personal charge of the operation as Senior Investigating Officer. Owing to his familiarity with the investigation, Deputy SIO will be DCI Gates. DCI Gates? Thank you, sir. Greek Lane's been under investigation as the scene of a double homicide. The IPs were two IC6 males in their 20s. There are Arabic books found at the scene. They've been translated. They were chemistry manuals. Forensics also found evidence of hydrogen peroxide use at the scene, and that's a well-recognized chemical constituent of IEDs. Look, the evidence points very strongly to these men being involved in a terrorist operation. Now, at this point, we have no clear understanding of why these men were murdered or who by. But their involvement in terrorist planning raises the possibility that they were killed for their silence. And the wider terror group of which these men formed a part poses an ongoing threat to the public. So the objectives of our investigation are to work with counter-terrorism officers and the security services to uncover the infrastructure that supported this cell and to prevent the remaining elements from executing their plan. I want all inspectors and sergeants to attend an operational overview in the briefing room with me. That's it, sir. Thank you, DCI Gates. Thank you, everybody. This is bollocks and you know it. You screwed up the op, you killed an innocent man, and now the real terrorists are at large. I'm just tidying up your mess, son. And if you're too emotionally involved, remove yourself. Sir, sir, do you have a minute? Uh, DS Arnott. Um, sir, do you mind if we talk through here? Uh, coffee, tea, Ted, Steve? Uh, yes, sir, that'd be great. Uh, coffee for three, please, Sheila. Gates is playing you. Those lads were using chemistry to make crack, not bombs. And Bleach to scrub the sink. They were selling drugs to finance terrorist activity. A recognised AQ modus operandi. AQ? Al-Qaeda, Jesus Christ, you're loving this. And if you get a promotion out A little it... decorum, please, D.S. Arnott. Sir. Terrorism is the single greatest challenge in modern policing. Not to take this matter seriously could be catastrophic. Who for? You. Steve. Sir, we have reason to believe, sir, that DCI gets suspended a surveillance operation, thereby facilitating the double homicide at Greek Lane. I'd like to hear the tape of Gates's call. He didn't make it through dispatch, sir. We've got a witness. <laughs> so it's his word against Gates? Look, we have concrete evidence of an improper financial relationship between DCI Gates and Jackie Laverty. When he brought me the evidence against the terrorist cell, DCI Gates was at pains to point out the sensitivity of his position regarding your investigation. He declared that Ms. Laverty had made a one-off payment to secure his daughter's places at Edge Park Prep School, a payment that was made without his consent or knowledge, and that the money was paid back. I have authorised all available resources, and DCI Gates, with his intimate knowledge of the case history, is essential to the success of this operation. Well, at least we have the ladder. Oh, come on, that's a drop in the ocean, boss. Look, we've been around the houses, Steve, around the houses and down the bloody drains. So what, you're throwing in the towel? That's rich. But Hilton blows with the wind. I thought you were better than that. Now, listen, I would have thought that if anybody understood that counter-terrorism can get you off, it would have been you, Steve. What's that supposed to mean? You're involved in an operation where an innocent man got killed and you're running around free as a bird. And it's all because all of our senior officers and politicians would rather see ten innocents die than let one terrorist succeed. So why'd you recruit me, then? Well, lately I've been asking myself the same bloody question. Go on, my son. Go on. Bastard.
Yeah. There's a copper poking his nose into one of Jackie's old salons. What copper? Some DS Arnott. You were meant to have this sorted, you bent bastard. Hey, it, it was sorted. I... I've got to shut the place down and clear it out by tonight. Do you know how many of these I've got? Every place he knows about, I've got to close. Do you know how much that's going to cost? You should have done what you were bloody told. He's anti-corruption. That means he's after me, not you. All I have to do... He's all over my business! All right. Do you think he'll turn a blind eye, you stupid twat? If it's one bloke, he can be fixed. Hey. Hey, could we... Could we maybe take a breath? With him gone, you'll be free to do what I tell you. We'll save when and where. Your job is to get him there. I can't. I'm out. All right. Okay. Hi. And you, you little shit. I see you again. I'm going to arrest you. You're fucking mental. Tommy's got your bird. Your business all up and your prints from the night. You're fucked, wise man. Any luck with the babysitter? Friday night curry with the girls. I'm sorry, Nigel. So everyone's ready in the briefing room. Right. I um put it back a couple of hours, please.
Yes. I am giving you one last chance. You bent bastard. How did you get this number? I know about the money. I can give you the information you want. Yeah? Well, I don't know. This isn't a load of crap. There was a woman, Jackie. She got her throat slashed in the hall of her house. There was a policeman with her, Gates. He's in on all of it. Only information. No police station, no police. No one but you. Where? Great. We'll come right now. Got Wesley's stepbrother in interview room one. What? Well, shouldn't we wait for the boss to get back? No. Kate! Yeah, I'll be right there. Mr. Boyle, it's the police. You called us, sir. Can we come in, Terry? Yes, come in. You said there'd been a break in? Yes, I called 999 and they said they wrote it all down. Well, how'd they get in? I let them in. Right. Uh, what do they take, Terry? Crisps. For... for the drinks. They stole them? No, I gave them to them. Right. What do they look like? Just a moment, please. I'm very sorry, but that's a secret signal that we've got a very, very serious emergency to go to. If they come back, get their names and contact the station. Thanks for your call. They are crying, for Christ's sake. It's a social problem. Was receiving a supply from two men who resided at Great Lake. No problem. But we're not trying to pin anything on Wesley, we're trying to find out who killed him. Did he ever say there was anything unusual about these two blokes? Sorry, Nigel, I'm busting. I'll be back in a minute. Look, those lads that were found there in that flat, do they have any other mates? Arabs, maybe. Pakistanis? Is that you? What's happening? Seen out Jackie's business laundered drug money. 500 quid for a bunch of bananas. Look, I'm on my way to meet the former to Gates being in on it. No, Steve, wait. Gates has gone AWOL. I saw him setting something up with Morton earlier. I don't know what it was, but... I need to move right now, Kate. No more wobbles. Two identical phones. Don't bother saying there's an innocent explanation. Where's Gates? What's he up to? Tony shut me out. Because of you. Do you have any idea how that's felt? I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> DC 
examine you, all right? Don't worry about me, get him! It isn't about me versus you anymore. The people that Jackie was involved with, they're all over me. Now get in the car. Turn yourself in. I wish it was that simple. into my business. This is how it's going to work. You tell my lads what you know, I'll be listening. Wanted, it's happening now. You've got to give me Jackie's body. Well, to ruin our relationship. Just get. Oh, you for grievous bodily harm and false imprisonment. 